and let us continue welcome back yay peoples and we are having more nationalists oh what glory what glory actually important thing I should do soonish is actually vassalize yay Ferrara because I have been working on them forever and a day and I've guaranteed you have decided that Tuscany is a rival, so now I won't be able to actually do this. Fuck! That's bull. That's just such bull. Seriously. I mean, really. Fuck me. Should have vassalized them when I had the chance. God damn it. I'm on 13, right? Right, recall that, diplomat, you are on 14, because you are a dick. And we are rather slowly coring everything, which is really nice. Okay, so we're slowly building up yay stuff. I think we actually have a stronger navy than Aragon now at this point. I think we should anyway. Now, mind you, they would have allies that would render that you know, idea useless, because I think they had Portugal as an ally, and of course they had Austria as an ally, which is all by itself gonna be a fun, fun thing, but you go and take care of that. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna have a string of constant rebellions now for a while, as we attempt to bring everything under control. Unfortunately. And this might hurt our manpower a little bit, as these things on occasion might do. Now I could create Hedyas as a vassal at some point if I ever gain ground against the Ottomans and use them to, you know, gain some territory from the Ottomans. Okay, and Austria is once again trying to conquer Papal State lands. That's perfectly fine. Okay, with these smaller stacks it's safe enough to run at a slight disadvantage on that. Okay, good, good, good. We are actually under our force limit on both counts. I can easily maintain at least 30 heavy ships and... Uh, sure. Don't expect me to actually fight, but I'll join in. And pretend tend to help. I'm looking nationalists. Go there and come back this way. Yay so. Sure, have your military access. God's damn it. Sure, whatever. It's too technologically advanced. Well, why don't you fucking westernize then? I'm right next to you. I'm western. Go for it. You too! I mean, seriously. Tribal despotism. But you're a sheikdom. A sub Saharan sheikdom. Wonderful. Okay, conquer Imarati. What is. where? Here. No. Do so or extension. I don't need a diplomat. 96, Jesus, Ottomans. Chill out, will you? It would be nice if they got their asses kicked at some point. It would be nice. And Granada can sure have access. Why not? Okay, now our revolt risk is at... Yeah, at much pluses because of stuff. Okay, good to know. Good to know things are so bloody wonderful. I could really use that plus three missionary strength, I'll say. I could really use that. But that's not gonna happen quite so easily. I would need another thousand points of Diplo stuff in order to, you know, 
make things happen. And this war appears to be going well for Austria, so they really don't need our interference, do they? Okay. So our dynasty is on the throne there, which is really nice. I approve of that. I really do approve that. And let us queue up another Karak right here. Like I said, I want 40 heavy ships. Then I might be willing to risk a war against Ottomans. Possibly 50. With 50 I should be able to absolutely smash people. Which would be a good thing. Just ambush their trade fleet. At least destroy that. Especially since their armies are elsewhere. It might make sense to go deep into depth here. Possibly. Possibly. We can get up to 40 with... Um, Ah, Jesus. Sure, I took the stability hit. And Berber Patriots, wonderful. Should be able to smash them without, even at lower maintenance. Anyway, yeah. It might make a certain amount of sense to actually go deep, in, deep into debt in order to make these wonderful things happen. And we might as well use our diplomats to improve relations with some of our neighbors. Willing to trust me somewhat? Oh. That's just silly. Aragon, if you were not allied with Austria, I would have declared war on you already. Really. What you are trying to... You being friendly with me, it's... It's not a survival tactic, it's really rather stupid. Or, you know, at least not being hostile to me. And look at that, so much territory. So much cheap, worthless territory, in fact. Recall that, sure. Still at minus 200, so nobody really cares. Okay, what about you? Let's improve relations there. Ooh, Castile took back their crap from Aragon. Which makes Aragon a less powerful ally for them. Actually, let's improve relations with Crimea. And that's it for my guys. They're all busy doing random things. But that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Nubian Patriots... Should still be fine, go and deal with that, and you are marching back home, that is fine as well. Okay, good. So, progress is being made rather nicely, and this is actually ahead of time. The Ottomans are actually ahead of time on military tech. That's a scary thought. I don't like that. Please stop. Oh, hello, someone just gifted us four ships. Say thank you, children. Oh, and orphans rejoice! We are gonna get some warships. This will actually bring us pretty much up to 30, which is... A, well, one of... Pretty close to our target. At 30 I can challenge Aragon. If not for their annoying alliance with, yay, my buddy Austria. Okay, that is... Yeah, once a diplomat frees up, I will send them to Tuscany to improve relations with them. Is to make them happier. We are not making that much money because heavy ships much expensive. But I think it's a good spending of money to get them all the same. And do not interfere with stuff that is currently coring. Please. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Kindly fix it that bullshit. Oh, they have low tactics. So there's really not much they can do. Also, early Karak. Bayeth. There we go. Ships for the win. Much ships. Good ships. And that will actually bring us up to 31 with the ones currently being built, which is excellent. Important question. How good an admiral can we get? A sucky one, but still that's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Not gonna get that because we're gonna need to continue coring our crap here. We'll certainly be able to core all three of these once this port is open to us. And you know, we've kind of carved out a window to the Indian Ocean, which is really rather nice. Much approveth. But relations over time, or production efficiency, guys, or just general awesomeness. 
Can't really afford advisors right now. In fact, I need to send all of my money into the Navy, if I can. Hell, running f stuff at full maintenance would actually hurt us a fair bit. Oh, and we're not uh, topped out on relations, actually. Still think I'm allied to a rival, and who do you el hell? Who else do you hate? Salzburg. And you hate Milan. You know what? We can be nasty with them for a while. It will give us enough enemy of enemy crap eventually to, you know, vassalize them. I hope. That's almost done. Then we can go and make friendly, friendly with the Tuscans will help. Oh, no, it was wrong. This will be give me exactly 30 heavy ships. A fleet of 50 should be enough to utterly overwhelm the Ottomans' power at sea. That's the idea anyway. Uh, that's the idea anyway, and uh, that's actually what I'm gonna go for. 50. I don't want to once again be screwed because I didn't do enough. I'm gonna build up to 50 heavies. Which is insane, I know, but all the same, let's do it. Let's do it anyway, and when will you be done? Oh, that's not good enough. We need that extra point of stability to actually make some progress here. Otherwise, we're just breeding revolt risk with no real gains. Truces, random truces, I don't really care. Okay, Bedouin Patriots, suppose I should up this ever so slightly and send a guy with a leader actually. <laughs> there we go. You know actually taking Rome is tempting but Austria, you know, I can't war Austria. Austria too tough to war. Austria scary. Okay. So where? There. Wonderful. So first you'll park there and then you'll go wherever. Okay. Nationalists. Honor and patriots allied with Yemen. The Yemenese one should be weaker because of tactics, but mine will be actually scarier because of sharing my tactics level. Okay, we are fully recovered more or less. Close enough anyway to go back into battle. So let's try this. Sucky engagement, but oh. Really sucky one. I think I'll win anyway though, so that's fine. And chase them down please, thank you. Okay, 80%, so we're making nice progress on that, and let's just continue on with yay that. Oh, I could get level 14. I'm actually gonna wait a bit for that. Because, you know, save points. If someone were to declare war on me, I would, you know, make use of that, but as is, not so much. Not so much. Now then. Now then, uh, the... One more year to core this. So that's fine. That's perfectly fine. And once again, lower this. Yeah, we're spending a lot of money on these ships of mine. A lot of money. And we're going to start heading over force limit too as well. Two as well. That's just not making any sense, but you know what I mean. In fact, a single army there should be enough, so let's bring the rest back home. So that we are, you know, ready to rock and roll. Rather heavy cannon wise, which might be to my advantage. Free stability or. Hmm. I'm actually going to take the stability because that will increase my income and just... Holy crap, we're making very little from trade now. They're really trying to dominate this now, aren't they? Those fuckers. And what, me collecting from this isn't really working, right? 
Of course not. Why would it? Why the fuck would it? Because, you know, huge debuff cause of our extension. Yep. So that's hurting my efforts to build a fleet. I'm actually gonna save up some money for now and then I'm gonna build a lot of ships just before the war. That way it I should be able to get up to full strength faster because you know saving cash and the like. I would need about a thousand gold pieces to make that happen. Alright, I was gonna improve relations with you and you. How are you doing? Not quite there yet. Might get there soon though. Despite the allied rival bullshit. Yeah, I mean they're practically there. One more gift and I can vassalize them and... Which will actually bring, bring me into a war against Venice. Current war, Savoy, Venice and Mantua. All the more reason to bring troops over. I can actually win that war, right? If that's how it goes, I can win it. So, you know, I'm perfectly okay with warring Venice. In fact, I don't mind at all. I could even take a few territories to get a bit more trade power here. Yes, like Friuli and Treviso or something, I don't know. Actually, no, better Verona. Better to get Verona. Okay. So, I would need to... Okay, let's temporarily recall this guy. Please don't get sieged out. Please don't get sieged out yet. I need two more months to vassalize you. Then you'll be safe. Okay, then you'll be safe. Fucking Venice. Dicking with my bros. Did my bloody guarantee wear off? No. The actual fuck. Okay, one more tick. Please don't get sieged yet. Please. Hell, we'll even get the opportunity to try out our navies. In fact, bring this up to full. Oh, and some more stuff is gonna get uh, finished coring, which is gonna be good as well. Okay, recall the diplomat. Please don't... Okay, good. Okay. I should have... They must be at peace. Wonderful. So, fuck me, right? Okay, Milan, Provence and Ferrara. In the... So we are conquest of Lombardia, so they might be fine. Okay. Here's to hoping, because... That would suck losing them after all this dicking around. You know? It's my own fault for not paying more attention, I suppose, but still... I want to expand in Italy. Right, because those are Roman lands. They should be mine. Right? They're supposed to be mine, in fact. Okay, Dongola will soon be cored. Yeah, we're just gonna slowly core everything gradual like. Plus three stability. That's rather nice, though. If I may say so myself. Add another core starting, and uh, we'll be able to start three more cores when we are, you know, doing that. So these are essentially mine, but not quite. And they are conquesting Poland, of all people. Poland! It's tempting to go and help. But I don't have the resource to really do that. You are out of the war. So, please. There we go, finally. Now then, you should no longer be mad at them. I like to rival hostile relations story. Okay, remove, just remove, and uh, then start improving relations with them because I want them to be mine as well. Salzburg and Tuscany, the allied rival thing should go away, right? Because oh no. They hate Tuscany, so never mind, it's not gonna go anywhere, is it? Douchebags. Okay, excellent ship rights for extra maneuver. How's that coming along? Everything seems more or less fine there. Anything I could get here? No. Not really. Well, that's fine. Let's just get the money then. Money, money, money. 
give me money and we are not dangerously overextended anymore apparently which is wonderful news we're still dangerously revolt revolty in all kinds of places but you know that's a different matter quite possibly no chance of converting Napoli because much tax base Rome would be even harder to convert so oh they actually converted the culture of Rome curious that's very interesting okay so all of these are on court yet but we'll get that done soon enough and we can up the expenses on this slightly to make that happen better faster gooder you know all of those strange words which I am not apparently so good at recall that diplomat sure we're gonna send one to Austria once again to make them happy happy with us yeah border friction they don't like that okay them managing to run without an air would be really good right about now you know managing to lose their air that would be good I would like that I would be happy with them losing their air because then we might get a bloody personal union maintain diplomat of course and sure Latin caracol cav and uh, of course core 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 yes 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 recording this probably not of course we're not okay wonderful Ooh. colleges not that we are Jesus Christ dudes chillax a little bit will you fuck's sake it's like you're interested in screwing me okay and our troops managed to carve them a new one as is desired bigger army or cash I'm gonna go for the tax base thank you you know I think I should borrow to get the okay yeah Crimea and Algiers Algiers does have a little bit of a navy it's not quite that much I might be able to work around that but you know it's enough to make things interesting shall we say okay and we are making some money but their ships are right there where I might or might not be able to ambush them if I had more ships of course Lithuania can have access I don't mind if you want to go at the Ottomans that is perfectly fine and legit and I don't mind at all pass the blasphemy act tolerance of heretics eh? sure actually that sounds good so that puts us at what six and a half versus seven so I could if I had that last or the last one from the Byzantine ideas I would be rather well off this would be the time to attack the Ottomans if I had my fleets if only I had my freaking fleets because that's the thing I really don't want to attack with more fleets than I currently have 50 heavy ships should absolutely smash them less than that I'm not so sure that they would first thing I'm gonna do when I declare war on the Ottomans is ambush those bloody trade ships of theirs seriously they have to die horribly in a fire okay and Mantua okay and more bullshit wonderful go with there then go with there sounds good okay so our revolt risk is still nice and high wonderful any more cores I can start yes one hmm patriarch authority how much three points of two points of missionary strength how much does that give me one point and less tax still I think I'll go there just to help me convert a bit faster because you know that would help 
noticeably. Okay, just finish that off and head back home, I suppose. So it's essentially another 5-6 years until these get finished coring, in which time I should also try and gain enough stuff to build my ships. Wonderful! What could possibly be harder or rather easier? If only... Okay, here's a question. Uh, country, 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 buy treasury. Who has money? Abenaki who are... somewhere. Manchu? Hello. Liege? Benin? Don't have a Casas Belli, but... Uh, oh, Abenaki is here and they are no ones. I can't really get to them, though. Hmm. Okay, who else? Salzburg, Frankfurt, Thuringia, me. Yeah, so essentially I'd have to knock over Mantua, because that's the... Hungary and Savoy. If I declare war on them, people will get pissy. Tuscany would help, but... Shit! There's no way. Okay. Eight and a half. Which means that... Um, eight and a half works out to... Essentially a hundred months. Little less than that. Say 18 months, that's uh, six, seven years if I can keep running at this rate, which I might not be able to. So, by the time I've finished scoring this, I should have almost enough money. Okay, now let's see. Make it happen. Yeah, I'll buy that for 50. Sure. Huh, I'm lacking temples in those. Go figure. Yeah, working a bit towards patriarch authority, say up to, I don't know, 50% or so, might be good. The heretics are gonna be pissy, but fuck them really, they're heretics. And holy crap, these are actually pretty good now. 45, that's 3, no, that's 4 years, that's pretty good, that's, well, it's not good good, but it's not horrible. And actually, I will work a missionary guy. That, you know, while it's uh, not ideal, it's still pretty damn good. And I could actually convert Napoli, which I will do right after this one. Because Napoli is, has a big tax base, I have guys here, and they're Catholic, and I'd really like to convert them now. So, you know, we're gonna work on that some. Cores are proceeding nicely, realm is looking good, all things are as they should be. Speaking of, you, I should at some point work to actually annex, and... We st that's still a ways off, but we should start working towards that. You are still allied with Austria and Portugal. You st have a bunch of allies in all kinds of places, including Venice, no less. So Austria is doing a lot to secure, a secure peace in this region, simply by allying everyone and being ready to join them, trying to help defend them, and that's kind of making things n nasty. Subjugate the Crimea. You know, Russia, strangely enough, I might approve of that. Because that would remove the Ottomans, one of the Ottomans' allies. And an ally that has actual fleets, some fleets anyway. Which worries me ever so slightly. 10 ships there, 33 there. Yeah, we have to ambush at least some of their ships. So as to make this whole thing easier. Now, you don't hate me, which is nice, even though we're bordering various stuff and... the fuck? Oh, we're talking Mantua, not Ferrara. 
So, Royal Marriage and Alliance, I suppose. Yes, since I do have a free relation slot, we might as well try and bring them up to some semblance of a really, really good relationship. So, maintain for now. Okay, there we go. Military Alliance. I'm now guaranteeing your safety, essentially. And you're at war. You're still allied. Yeah. I guess I could try to pull a fast one while Austria is busy elsewhere, but I'd rather fight the Ottomans first. You know? Next time we war, we could just go after Ethiopia, because they've done a good job of converting some of these provinces, and I really approve of that. Okay, like now I said, Napoli. And after that, Alexandria. Mantua. Oh, shit. Fine, Jesus, you dicks, but fine. That's the way it's gonna be, just... Okay, let's see if I can gain control of the siege. If I could, that would actually be really nice, because then I might... Then I could prevent them from taking them over, at the very least. Mind control of this? No, Tuscany is because they actually managed to get there first. Fuckers. And now I'm gonna get crap from Hungary, too. Oh, and they've rivaled me. Why? Austria, the fuck? I'm your bro. Stop. Don't. Shit, you fuckers. Bloody Austria. Why? Why would I be a rival to you? I'm your friend, you fucker. It's for fucking Tuscany causing trouble. I'm sure that it's this war that provoked the crisis between me and Austria. I'm sure of it. Seriously, Duke. Can I claim your throne or something? Right. Well, at least we have a thing going on where we have the same dynasty, that's something. And my next king looks like he's gonna be pretty good as well. So that's something. Now, Mantra is in charge of that, right? Wow. Austria, threatening my trade on top of that. Shit, son. So I'm guessing that it's time we allied someone like, actually, Poland. Yes, Poland is good, especially since they hate the Ottomans. And they're threatened by me, so that's actually extremely good, since they'll want an alliance. There we go. Polish alliance. Rock and roll, baby. And I could do much the same with Yale, Lithuania, actually. And that would give me a rather strong alliance against Yale. Imperial Liberation, wonderful. Well, if they're fighting Hungary, I suppose that's... Hell, they're gonna destroy that army for me. Which is nice of them. Okay, so Lithuania, yes, we want a... Alliance with you as well. There we go. Eastern Alliances, for the win, in fact. Now, Tuscany, if you would just finish that, I would be very happy with you. I'd rather lose the points than the money. I need the cash for my fleets. And that's 100%, right? That should be good. You should be making peace right now, you know. Okay. And you got their money, didn't you? You fucker. Okay, so, what's my relations? I have one more than I should, obviously, right? Right, so who can I ditch? Who do I want to ditch? I mean, I don't want to ditch any of them right now, actually, so we'll maintain them, and we'll in fact proceed to marry Tuscany yet again. Okay, lose money or lose one prestige? I'd rather lose the prestige, since I'm gonna need the money. 
Okay, I need at least 10 more ships, at the very least, at least 10 more ships to make this work. So, and how's that conversion coming along? It's gonna take a while since we lost half a point of conversion speed because of the stability hit. I'm actually gonna... Well, yeah, it's a bit expensive, but I want to get those two places converted because they are the really difficult ones, right? Okay, this might have been a bit uh, too daring. Shh. Well, they have pretty much no troops left, so never mind, but... Okay, now we need to up this so that my people can actually fight. You know, if I actually smash the Ottoman trade ships at the beginning of the war, I should be good on cash during the war, possibly, maybe. Of course, I would have to actually smash them in order to make that happen. Now then, I can start coring the last one. Not for a while, but that should still be fine. Those are just nationalists. Well, actually, they might be good. They might be... As in... Fonj does not exist, so yeah, they get my level of tactics instead of the nations in question level of tactics, because of, you know... Well, that. Which is, I suppose, fine. Now, how's that conversion coming along? How's that conversion, darling? Four more years, eh? Well, keep going for it. Keep working on it, in fact. I don't mind. And let's bring that a bit more down, because we do want the money. In fact, we need the money. And let's actually reduce the inflation to improve our cash money situation some more. And you know, when these cores get finished, I think I'll go to war with the Ottomans. And I don't really care if it means that I have to borrow in order to build some ships. That's fine. And I'm actually gonna split it here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, see you there.